Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Katie Disc Commentary. As always, I'm Katie, and today we are doing season, what is this, like, nine? Nine? Is it nine? you think I would know of American Horror Story, but it's called American Horror Stories, and it's a Hulu exclusive this year. So it's only available on Hulu. It's not, a, it's not airing on FX, which is very interesting uh, to me because... You know, it usually does. It is still obviously affiliated with FX, as it has it in the corner. Um, so yeah, and on Hulu, it will be, it's just its own little thing. It's like its own little series almost. It just says American Horror Stories Season 1, Episode 1. So I will clarify that because I was confused. I was like, wait, 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 Season 1, Episode 1. And then I was like, oh, it says American Horror Stories, so plural. I don't know much about this season. All I can say is that I used to be a really big fan of the series. I mean, I still kind of revisit some of the past seasons every now and then, but I don't like all of each and every season. I feel like some like recently this series has kind of disappointed me where like it'll get your <laughs> your hopes up and be like, oh, like this seems pretty cool and interesting. But what I have to tell you is that dear people that make this show, you can't just rely on a theme to carry your entire season. Because it's an anthology, so I'm guessing this is an anthology within an anthology because it's plural stories. So it's this season I'm guessing is multiple stories into one but I would say um, this is probably the season I know the least about going into it and I will tell you if you're a person who is thinking huh like is it worth my time I would say watch the first two and that's probably all you need um, I like the third one but it's not really all that scary of a season if you're looking for horror. I think the scariest seasons were the first two. Well, first one you were in like a haunted house. The second one you were in an asylum. And the reason why that was so scary was because it was dealing with things that actually happened in history. You know, people were um, being committed to asylums for being gay and people were being treated poorly in mental asylums and, you know, in it, those facilities. So, um, and the psychological aspects of it and the thriller parts of it. It was just a creepy, eerie setting and just the themes that they were going about with were crazy, were amazing too. And the performances, oh my god, like you had, I mean, I can't give it away if you haven't seen it. I mean, I know it's been like, what, like 10 years since those series, those seasons have aired, but... I know the least about this. I think what it is is that they're bringing back um, characters slash elements or settings of past seasons and they're putting it in a new story, but I don't know. I'm going to find out. Um, we'll see if it's garbage or not together. So it is on Hulu. I have ads. I, I'm not going to pay for... It's like 30 something dollars a month, I think, for having no ads on your Hulu. So I will let you know when there is an ad so you can adjust accordingly. If you gotta pause me yammering for a second, or if you gotta pause your program, because if you're, I don't know, you don't have the ads, you maybe gotta pause your program. <laughs> your program. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna hit play in three, two, one. That was a lot of yammering. I am sorry, but I had to get that off my chest. I do know that I think you got, like, most of the past cast members. Ooh. Yeah, we are going to die. Are we going to that house from the first season? We got Matt. Bon not is oh I mix them up I'm sorry that's not Matt Bomber, is it? I mix him up with another actor. Ah. Uh. 
calm down. Oh, she's so edgy. She's so... Uh... She's so edgy. She's like, my parents are happy and they're married and together. But I have to be like, ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Travesty. Oh. So did Ryan Murphy, who is the showrunner, so meaning he's the head writer, um... That is Matt Bomber, by the way. Um, so, did he just go like, I ran out of ideas or themes, so I'm just going to do this again. Maybe I'll eat my words. I don't, I don't know. Yes, let's go to this house where people were murdered. Many times. Throughout the years. Fucking A. It looks a bit different, though. She's like, wait, I saw this on Tumblr. <laughs> Am I too much of an ass? I'm sorry. Am I too much of an ass? And then she's looking around, making my way downtown. Uh oh, uh oh. So that means all of those ghosts. I mean, it's a beautiful house, um, but it's full of some souls. Some tormented souls trapped in these walls. So it's like an open wall, but it has like a dumb waiter in it. Is that what that's called? A dumb waiter? Like, gorgeous house, but no. When you're walking in and it gives you the skis, the willies. Oh. Oh god. Oh, they're gonna renovate it. That's gonna annoy them. Dimension. Oh. Hmm? Oh, they're gonna turn it into like a whole tourist thing. Oh, it's like a haunted house bed and breakfast? Oh no, she enjoyed herself. What about bad juju? <laughs> so that makes you a bad folk. Run, take advantage of it. Oh, yeah, people have died here. I'd be like, peace.
So I guess it used to be Wednesdays they would air new episodes, now it's Thursday. I had the ghost kill me. And then when they do, I'll be like, well, you got what you wished for. She's into creepy shit, so, I mean, that doll. Have you seen her, like, a porcelain doll? Oh my god. My mom has one from when she was a kid. It's like, oh lord. What kind of converse are those? Like, high top? The platform high tops? Never seen those before. Gives you like an extra two inches to your height. Like with my shoes on, New Balance give you some height. I think New Balance gives my New Balance gives me like a, at least a half an inch to an inch. I'm probably five eight when I wear those. I want to play ball. So yeah, you you will be kind of. I don't think you'll be lost watching this um, if you haven't seen the first season, but you just won't get that, like, oh, it's, you know, we're seeing characters again, or we're seeing the same setting again. This is, this is a, I think Thaddeus is the one that's like the creepy one that's like, play with me with the ball. He doesn't talk like that, but... Also, Thaddeus is a name. That's a power move. Is it sad that I'm excited that my house is only 86 degrees? Ooh. Yeah, we still just keep this right in here. Vic starts breathing and grabs her. She's like, ooh, kinky. She's like immediately trying it on. She's like, I'm Catwoman. Like takes over her body and her soul. She's like, ooh, I'm feeling myself. What is the whistling? Yeah, no thank you. That looks suffocating. I don't want to feel trapped. Oh, is she like hearing everything now? Is this like a vessel? Is this a vessel? Ooh, ooh. Scary. Yeah, I don't like that. I wouldn't put it on just because I don't really like the it sticking to me like that. I would not put on the mask. That is Matt Bomber. I get him mixed up with Cheyenne Jackson sometimes and this other guy. I don't know why. I used to mix up. Okay, her name is familiar. Um, Paris Jackson. I did see her in the, um, Scabibo. Interesting. Um, I did see her in the, the teasers. Um, what was I saying? This always happens. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. So it's all about, oh, it's Rubber Woman Part 1. Okay, we're at a, sorry, we're at an ad. Um, so yeah, I wonder how the, I wonder if each episode is a bit different. I don't know. I know, like, I don't know that much. All I know is that the teaser, the one teaser that they showed on TV that I've seen was, we're just talking through the ad, because was that it showed the rubber man or woman now um but I thought I thought Billy Lord was in this season I thought like 
Or maybe it's just, maybe it's different each episode. That's probably what it is. Because I could have sworn they said that Sarah Paulson was coming back, Evan Peters, Billy Lord, a bunch of people. So it must be different each time because there's no way that you're going to do a whole season about the rubber person. There's no way. In this ad, she's saying that turkeys have x-ray vision. I doubt that. Turk we are back, by the way. Paris Jackson has beautiful skin. Oh, they're going to be lovers. Okay, now I have to turn this up because of the... The Terminator. So we had Violet, which was the teenage daughter from the first season in the house. Now we have Scarlet. <laughs> Fitting. <laughs> I once heard that the worst thing you can do is humiliate... Humiliate someone. I think people are fear embarrassment and yeah, shame. She's like, I know a lot about psychology. She keeps looking at her. Oh. Smart is the new perfect 10. She's like, ah. Hmm. <laughs> I almost for I almost forgot that she didn't have to switch schools. At first I was like, wait, is this a new school? And then I was like, wait, never mind. What? Oh. Oh. Could you imagine having to shoot that? Like being Paris Jackson, like, oh yeah, you're gonna like just gaze and like, you know, look cute in a into the camera. Oh, it's gonna be like the dad. Go like, but good night, sweetie. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what if she was actually there? Like, stranger danger. I didn't consent. Get off me. Oh. It, Paris. Paris is really beautiful. Like her skin is so clear. I'm like. I want my skin to be clear and beautiful. <laughs> I did. I remember hearing that Paris Jackson was acting, but that was like a while ago. This is the first time I've seen her in anything. Oh. Oh shit! It's the soul of the rubber person suit. What's with the whistling? I don't remember this from the... Oh. Oh, she's like on the bo- Okay, that's a mind fuck. So she's in a fantasy, but she's on the bottom. Not on the top. Now I'm confused. And the whistling? I take a cricket outside my window over whistling any day. Oh, shit. So far, it's kind of boring. 
I don't know. I'm like... Like, that's creepy, but... And then the dad's gonna be like, you were just dreaming, because that's cliche. Are you sure we're on an ad right now? Are you sure we're just having a nightmare? Yeah. This lady's talking to me about how to keep your laundry smelling fresh and clean. What is happening? Keep it fresh. What is this? Sorry, I'm reacting to now a commercial. It's based on a podcast slash truth story. Christian Slater. I still think Christian Slater is good looking uh, at at hit this age. There's something about Christian Slater. I don't know what it is. Anyways, so far it's kind of like a, I mean, it's the pilot, which, you know, the pilot can kind of be, you know, it's like a introducing the characters and stuff, but it could still be a dynamite episode. There are like series where they're f the best episode is their first one. You know what I mean? And we're back, by the way. I don't know. I think I'm just kind of like, I'm tired of the cliche type stuff. Like the tropes, like whatever the proper word is. I'm sorry, I never have to guts to talk to you at school. I don't know a few things about me. Oh. That she is a lesbian, I'm guessing. Aw. I do like this. I do like, I feel like you don't really see this a lot. Oh. With the rest of the girls, your friends are bitches. <laughs> Why would you just say, like, that if she hangs out with them? I know, but I still love them. The harmless, I'll protect you. I wouldn't do that. And once they're asleep, oh. Then you would get caught and they'd be like, oh. Oh. But she's like, but I really want to be with her. Oh, this is like the old. We just want, we just want to bond. So, oh, about a year ago. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's kind of young. What? Pain? Oh, so her fantasy... And she was already fantasizing about, like, choking someone. Ugh, some people have just like that, and it's, it's so dangerous. Oh. I will, I will give it to, to Ryan Murphy and the team, because they're covering stuff that you don't usually see on television.
It doesn't turn every girl on. I have a sleepover. Shit. Yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah. That's, you know, at least they're covering topics that, like, they don't usually cover in television. I think it went well, for the most part, but... Honey, the, the teacher can still see you. Why would you just, oh god, just text that. She's like, I'm looking for a dad. wink. Now she's like, thinking about what they said. Now we got apple. I like green apples. Not many people like green apples. I think they're better than... I mean, I like red apples, but I think they're better than red apples. Put some caramel or something. Oh, it's good. Or some, like, peanut butter. It's just, like, it's, it's too much of this and not enough horror. You know what I mean? Like, when does shit hit the fan? I just, get, I'm growing impatient. Sexy lingerie. Ah-ha! Yeah. Honey, you don't need lingerie when you're 16. It's just like, oh, like, I just think people need to, like, be a child, be a teenager. Don't grow up so fast. I don't know. I think kids just need to be kids. Like, why do you need lingerie? Like, man, you're 16. It's like, and people are like, let's lower the voting age to 16. I'm like, <laughs> oh, do you know what people were doing when they're 16? Do you know 16 year olds are doing this shit? This shit. Oh, is she gonna put on. Oh. What are you doing? The slumber party's until the weekend. She's like, I'll wear this. So, yeah, she's into some, like, she's into, like, demented stuff. Um, I think it's possible that she's sexually repressed oh shit it's like possessing her um it's possible that she's sexually repressed because of maybe because i don't know she hasn't been able to do it with a a woman because she's been kind of made fun of for the fact that she's a lesbian i don't know i don't know about psychology i'm just saying it's possible that this is stemming from sexual repression. That's my thoughts. Oh, she's possessed. She's possessed. Ah, oh, why would you do that? Ew. Yeah, someone else wore it. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, fuck shit, fuck shit, fuck shit. Uh, yeah? Oh. Honey, like, you have to admit, like, why are you doing, why are you playing psycho, sexy, like, Norman Bates, we're at an ad again. Sexy Norman Bates Psycho up in here. He did not do that. I thought she was possessed and she was, like, gonna, like, take off, like, they were gonna, like, find out that it was her. And she was gonna be like, whoa, you know, like, because she was possessed for a, a spell. A short spell. But, you know. Okay, I like, you know, I like aspects of this so far. It's just... I'm worried that there's only going to be the cliff. I'm worried that the cliffhanger is going to be the only like ah major moment. You know what I mean? Which have a cliffhanger, but you know you need other builds, crescendos. Hey, pop pop. Sorry, there was a a downy commercial, which is kind of. Like, they think, like, <laughs> it's the one where they think the grandson thinks that their, his grandparents were doing it and, like, fooling around because their, um, their clothes are wrinkled. So. Yeah. We're back soon. And we're back, by the way. You just got a gate. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Cause you're fucked up. Huh. It's not. It's not. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. That is scary. Ten days. Oh, wow. Ooh. It could be buried in her subconscious. Damn. It's concerning. She's like, I got this. That could freak you out. Yeah. 
So she she could. She does. Doesn't matter. She could. Yeah. Gives you skeeves. Right. Yeah. That's a good point. Ah! Shit. Oh, she gonna end up dead. She gonna end up dead. Damn. Damn. Shit. <sighs> Sorry, dark, dark. <laughs> so do we. <laughs> She's hearing something. No. Ooh. Oh, it's one of those twins. The Oh, see, I told you. Oh, the twist is that it was her. Possibly. I guess he didn't see the dock out. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna get blasted on Xanax and wash the crown. <laughs> Isa Butterfly. Or Moth, I don't know. She's like, where are you? Grounded. She didn't tell you? Or accidentally st actually was a slice, not a stab. Hardcore. Well, you're yeah, not hardcore. Unless you live hardcore. If you're actually hardcore. Well, you're not hardcore. Unless you live hardcore. Is her music coming from a uh, a radio? Kind of sounds like that. Where did she get that? I want answers. Isn't that, um, Meryl Streep? I don't think Meryl Streep's in The Crown. Meryl Streep played Margaret Thatcher, but she's not in The Crown. I, c I don't know. I haven't watched The Crown. 
Oh, she drives. But she, but you can't drive without. Without okay, right. Add again. If you're 16, you can't have a license at 16. You can have a. Uh, bleh, I was gonna say a promotion, a permit. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure you can't have a, a, a license. You can only have a license. Or maybe you can. Sorry. No, sorry, you can. I'm losing my mind. Um, for some reason I thought, no, what it was is that it's the fact that you don't have to take, oh, the fact that it's, you can, you don't need to have a permit in order to get a license if you're 18. I don't know why that is. Um, but it's like, how can you, you have to learn how to drive, though, before you take your, your test, so it's kind of like, why would you not have a permit, you know what I mean? Without shopping. They don't come in bags like that, by the way. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. They just come in, like, whatever store bag. We want to buy your car. Sorry, I'm like, <laughs> I forget, like, we don't all have the same ads, but I'm just vibe into it. Uh, okay, now we're back. Oh my god. Sick vape. This seems like the worst slumber party ever. What a bitch. Meh. So, 15 minutes left? Dang. What? Oh, is that a rule? Well, some people sleep in a shirt in like boxers, so like, or shorts that aren't technically like pajama shorts. Pajama shorts aren't, pajamas aren't always like actual pajamas. You can sleep in a sweater. You can sleep in jeans if you wish. You mean shorts? Just like, okay. I mean, I'd be like, don't look at my body. I wouldn't get undressed in front of somebody that I liked. Like, I wouldn't do it in front of a, of a boy. I'd be like, I'd be like, so, like in this situation, it's kind of just awkward. I'd be like, so, don't look at my ribs. <laughs> don't look at Skeletor. <laughs> We're getting deep. In this track right here, this commentary track. Oh, is that a baseball shirt? A jersey she gave her? I love baseball jerseys. Is she okay? She's like, I really like you. Mm. 
Yeah. Because she doesn't like fall in love with you and then you're like, oh, um, I thought I was gay, but I'm not. You know what I mean? She's a virgin, too. Oh. It's aggressive and violent. She's so sweet. Well, what if it involves me choking you to death? Oh. <laughs> it's possible she's like, never done it before, but okay, I guess it's hot. They're going to be wondering where y'all are. Oh, there's a text message. I do like that she's still talking and there's like no acknowledgement of the text messages. <gasps> oh. You bitch. You bitch! Oh my god! I'll tell you what happened. She saw that this girl liked her. And then she was like, oh, like, I'll just, you know, I'll, you know, fuck with her with it. <sighs> People do not like to be humiliated. How could they hear the whole thing when the... When the phone was in the bathroom? Damn. How could they hear everything if the phone is all the way in the fucking bathroom and they were talking in like hushed tones? Like an inside, inside voice. <laughs> Holy shit. You should have just stayed home with your butterfly thing and listened to your music. And then she's gonna be like, I feel so bad, I'm sorry. Damn. Now she's gonna like snap. Now she's like, I'm really, I really should have choked you. Damn, they're really passed out. Oh. They're out because they were like, See, I couldn't take a shower in the middle of the night because everybody would hear and it would wake people up. Not that I would, but like... Ugh.
Oh. Damn. Was that a real one? <laughs> Damn. Dark. I like her robe, though. She's gonna s scare the shit out of them. Now we're another ad. Do we have more? Oh, seven minutes. Okay. Because she's gonna scare the shit out of them now. It's revenge, and it's like, uh... And it's, uh... What's it called? She also really likes that shit. Now we're learning about Lexuses. Is plural for Lexus cars Lexi? Ha <laughs> hmm. The more you know. Yeah. The tables have turned now with this episode. I wonder if that's true, if somebody, if the guy um, that was outed committed suicide and then, you know, stated their names in the letter and they were convicted. It's serious. Just don't be a dick. Like, if anything... Don't be a dick, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be a dick. Don't be horrible. That's all I will say. Imagine if somebody, like... Yeah. We're back, by the way. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Yep. I guess she goes, if she kills herself, we're fucked. Also, she would kill herself and she'd be dead. Not that you give a fuck, but you know. You shouldn't want anybody to kill themselves. And the fact that people, like, tell people to kill themselves is horrible. It's horrible. What is wrong with my neck? In other news. That's considered an in, that's that's in? Like a chain for your phone. That's what you think you're gonna die. I feel like that's kinda like when people have the chain for their glasses. Like some people are like, that's not cool at all, they'll say. Um, I don't know. I just don't. I wouldn't get one. Because I have pockets and I could put it in my bag or something. You know? Not that it's not always surgically implanted into every teenager's hand, practically. Oh shit. Oh shit. Can you see that you are fucked? <laughs> That's my remix. <laughs> oh shit, can you see? <laughs> I'm just amusing myself at this point in time. <laughs> I'll say, oh shit. <laughs> can you see? <laughs> As you can see, I'm really feeling the, ah, the tension when I'm just singing shit to myself. Oh, no, I'm joking. That's an old ass machine. Flickering light bulb. <laughs> That's fun. Porcelain doll, no! 
I got Maya's not even like Faye. She just keeps going. Ho! <gasps> no, is she a murderer now, honey? She's killing people. The answer is to not become a murderess. Or murderer. Ooh. We know you like violence, but you need to let this out in a video game. Now what are you going to do with the bodies? Like... How are you gonna live with yourself? She'd be like, you deserved it. Oh, she's possessed. What I don't get is that she put it on once. Oh God. So she's putting up. I'm helping. Wow. Good place to put my bodies in the walls, and then we can, then we'll smell it. We'll smell the festering corpses. So she, it's so weird because, like, the first time she put it on, she kind of was like, she felt like the force, right? And then, um, she got freaked out. She took it off. And then now she's keeping it. Now we're scared. Now we're scared. Because you're gonna inflict pain. <laughs> oh, her and uh, Ben. Shit. Yeah, I guess, you know, some people, their kids are the serial killer. That's a lot. You're like, that's my job. That's my job to murder people. Sometimes Tate would wear it. Um, that's the end of the episode. Um, let me see... neck I swear um okay rubber woman part two so it's going to be so they're like they're parts okay so it's anthology within an anthology what I mean by that is every season is a different theme or story slash story um and then we have the third one is completely different it looks like it's Sarah Paulson in the thumbnail the screening of a forbidden film is disastrous Ooh, bitch Maybe we'll continue reacting and watching this and me commentating on this together. Well, the next episode is Rubber Woman, part two, where it says, Scarlet enters a twisted new romance while Michael and Troy are forced to confront their rocky relationship. Oh my god. Okay, so they basically, they released the first two the same day, which was last week. Now this week, so today we have the one called Drive-In. I'll probably do, if I still like it and I vibe with it, I'll commentate on it. Um, I'm a, I am mean, at first it was kind of slow, and then I was like, okay, this is very interesting, so she turns into a killer. But it's borrowing a little bit from the first season. Um, like, she is her own character, but 
she's kind of a mixture between Tate and Violet, I see, if you've seen the first season, which I think that one and the second one are the best seasons. I like the third one as well, but it's less scary. But I think the idea of, like, a coven of witches in, like, New Orleans is interesting. Um, she's kind of like the two molded, melded into one, if that makes sense. But then she's going to realize that the souls, so now she's going to real. oh my gosh, the ghosts of those four girls are going to be in her house. So she done fucked up. Um, because she murdered them, so now their souls are trapped inside the house. Because when you die inside the house, you are a ghost forever in that house. So, she's going to have to see them every day. You're going to have to move, honey. You're gonna have to move. Dallin, you're moving. Anyways, um, it was kind of slow at first, but I think, and it was kind of like cliche. And then I was like, oh, like it's new stuff I haven't really, you know, I don't really see on television quite a, a lot. And it turned, it got even darker. So, you know what? The psychological aspect, I like. Um, the twisted shit, very interesting. So, yeah, I will watch part two with y'all, and let me know what you thought. Thank you for listening, thank you for comment, leaving your thoughts and comment, and thoughts and opinions in the comment section, that's what I'm going to say, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.